Hello beautiful beings of love and light. Natasha Monique here with another deck review. This is one of my newest decks. All right, we're going to review the African American Tarot today. This deck was created by Jamal R and illustrated by Thomas Davis. It is published by Los Scaribo. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Los Scaribo. All right. Borderless edition. I love that. Now this deck is semi rider weight ish but it has African American cultural elements in it, so I really do like it. So it comes in this little box, a box similar to like a rider weight box or a soft box. It's good, nice to hold it in. The book is just a simple white pamphlet book, but what's super cool about this book is that it's in English, Italian, Spanish, French, and German. I love that. I love that. I love that. And it's got a little excerpt in the beginning and a key to understanding. The, they do give you a sample spread there and a key to understanding that. I am going to actually, because of course I looked through this already, I'm going to use the book to for the majors because they're one or two of them are different. And now the only thing, okay, I absolutely do love this deck, but the only thing that kind of, uh, I wish was elaborated on more is when we get to the minors, okay, the, the pictures and the symbolism you'll see when we go through the deck is, is not so writer weighty, which is fine. I love that. I, I love a deck that's it's creative own. However, I wish that the book went into further explanation about the pictures that we see on the cards, just for those of us who aren't familiar. And what the book does do is it'll say like, okay, the Ace of Chalices is Buk, B-U-K, I hope I'm saying that right, Goddess of Water and the Origins from Sudan. And then it just gives, you know, generating force, vital energy, exhaustible source, vitality, abundance, love, like the key words. I wish you would give a little more background about the gods and goddesses and figures that they are showcasing on the cards. Because now me, with all of my dorkiness, I'm going to have to now, when I'm journaling with this deck, go back and look all of these up so that I have a better understanding to better use the cards. So let's get started with the review. So they give a little pamphlet in the front, okay, and boom, that's the first card you see. And then the last card is just, again, the African American Tarot, which that's not included really in the deck. They're just like spacer cards. The backs are gorgeous. I love the backs. It's so pretty. So pretty, so pretty. So let's get started. We start with the full. I, I love this full card. Then we have the magician. That is so powerful. I think that but that's such a powerful card right there. Oh no, keep it to this side. That's better with the glare. There we go. All right, we've got the magician. Then we've got the high priestess. She looks so regal. Like I love that. The empress. That's, nope, we still do the Emperor. Okay, there's one that's different. I want to make sure I say what that is. That's the Emperor. I love that he's like pointing his machete at you. Like what? With the little tiny elephant and lion down there. Like he's just bigger than the lion and the elephant. All right. We have the Hierophant. And does he call them the Hierophant still? Yes. Okay. The Lovers. I love this Lovers card. That's so pretty. I love that. Alright, and then I think this is the one that's different. No, it's not. Okay. This is still the chariot. And see, they don't say them on the card. And I love that it's borderless. I like borderless cards. But it doesn't tell you the name of them on the card. So you just have to be familiar with your majors. Alright, then we've got strength. And it's cool that the guy with strength has all these eyes. Like, that's... That I just think that's super cool. And do they tell you? Oh, okay, it's Shango, warrior god of warrior god of storm. All right, I love that. Then we've got the hermit. 
this hermit card does look very like white or brighter week smithy to me but i just love that the beacon of light and the stars behind him all right the wheel beautiful then we have justice which this justice card is very different from what we traditionally view a justice card as. Like you see, we don't have any scales there, but it's like he's fighting for all of those people in the background. Like see how they're like jubilant, like yay! So he's like the great warrior. I want to make sure I don't. Yep, this is the one that's different. Okay, so instead of the hanged man, they have the observer. All right, and I love the symbolism with all the eyes there. And. Initiation ritual, inner death, mysticism, self-sacrifice, dedication. I love that. And the explanations, it says, it gives you a light explanation and then a shadow explanation. So the shadow, I of course assume, is when the card is reversed. But I love that so much. I love that, I love that. All right, and then the rest, I believe, are just as they are, yes. So here's the death card. All right. Then we've got temperance which is a very different kind of temperance card but I love the athame and the staff that he has All right. then we've got the devil this is an awesome devil card oh he's got like the spider face oh, I, love that. I love that I love that I love this tower card oh I love it I love it so much I just everything about it I love I just love 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 that all right, and the star, she's so beautiful. I love this. The moon. I like how they use hyenas in the moon, which is indigenous to Africa. You know, we have the African hyena. I think there are Indian hyenas as well, but mainly in Africa. And what's next? The sun. Yes. With the little babies playing. I'm sorry, I'm just like looking at him again like I didn't just go through all of this. This judgment card I think is great. And do they call it judgment? Yes, okay. I think that's fantastic. And how like their their coffins are like from the earth. They're coming up from the earth, coming to like this buffalo god. I, I love that. And then we've got the world. And then now, I'm going to make sure I use the right terms for their minors. Yep, they do use chalices. So you've got the ace of chalice, which doesn't say an ace on it. It just gives you the one. All right. And two. And the three of chalices. Four of chalices. Got five. He's fighting a dinosaur. Like, and then I love, like, the, the war that's going behind, which is, like, reminiscent to me of the Civil War, I'm going to assume. Six. This is a beautiful Six of Chalices card. I absolutely love that. Seven. I'm going to hold him there so you can see the whole card. Eight. Nine. I love this, too coming out of the water and the snake. This is going to be a great deck to journal with. You got the ten of chalices and the cage, which let me make sure they still call them. Oh, they call that a knave. Okay. I thought that was different too. So that's the knave is what they're calling the page. All right. And the knight, they still do use the knight. It's got the little symbols down here for you to know which one it is. So you see, that's the knight. And then the queen of chalices. And the king. I like the water elements that's still with them. We have got the ace of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Just to make sure, yep, they do use pentacles. Just making sure I'm using the right four of pentacles. Not the five. This card is so cool. Like it's so cool with his like his whole head is a mouth. I just think that's amazing. The artwork is good stuff. Thomas Davis did a good job on the artwork. We got the six of pentacles. 
seven of pentacles. That's really interesting. Like, I just, I just love that. This, I'm going to have so much fun journaling with this. Eight of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Ten. Looks like the ancestor is there watching over all of their abundance. I love that. And the knave. The knight coming in on a mighty elephant. The queen. Oh, I feel the queen and the king. So those are our pentacles. Next we have wands. They do call them wands. Still great. So we've got our ace of wands. Just a beautiful tree. Two of wands. Three of wands. Those are four. Six of Wands, this has got to be my favorite in the Wands. I love the merriment. It's like you can just feel that merriment energy there with the ladies in the background with their beautiful dresses. Seven of Wands, like he is just fighting off that nonsense. Like, nope, I'm not having none of that. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. This is similar imagery to the Rider weight. this Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. I love the color scheme in that. And the Knave. That is awesome. Like, that's like Battle Warrior, like, all the way. This one I love. The Knight of Wands, I absolutely love. Like, he's coming from a serpent with his wings, like, gorge. I just, I just absolutely love that. I love it so much. Okay. Queen of Wands with her black cat. I do like seeing the Queen of Wands with the black cat. I do. And I, I used to own a black cat. She passed years ago. She was old. I had her forever. And the King of Wands. Yeah, so I do love to see the black cats with the Queen of Wands. So now we go into Swords. We've got our Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. This is super cool, this picture. Like, I love that. I love, like, the, the shadow and the light, and they're, like, kind of splitting each other. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. This is really interesting. Like, I look at the baboon with the mask on behind him and the lion just looking down at him. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. The Eight of Swords. That's awesome. Like, that's like he's trying to trap the demon in there. He's got a rock in his hand and everything. It's like overcoming that oppression. Just overcoming it. The Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords, instead of the swords actually being in a human being's back, we've got them in this great beast that's like the head of a crocodile and the body of a lion. We've got the knave. The knight. The queen. And the king. So overall, I am excited to work with this deck. I'm excited to journal with it. That's going to be super fun. The card stock is pretty good. It's not too flimsy, not too stiff. And the cards are a good size, so they're easy to shuffle with. And I like to bridge shuffle my cards as well, so it's easy to do that with too. They're not like super, super massive or super, super tiny. They're a, a good size, easy to shuffle. So overall, I do enjoy this deck. And I'm looking forward to working with it. So I'll put in the descriptions. I actually got this off of Amazon. So I will put in it just the publisher's name so you know where you can get that from. I'm looking it up if you would like to get this deck. 
I like it. I can't wait to work with it. So, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, or even subscribing to my channel here on YouTube, you will see my weekly videos here, specialty videos on my Facebook and YouTube, on Facebook and Instagram, and my dailies on Facebook and Instagram. This deck will be used in them. Peace and blessings. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please do like and share it. Love and light. Mwah.